y'all, it's the Thrifty Southerner, back again for another Thrifty Thursday haul. I am back from Oklahoma, and I found quite a lot of stuff. Um, really random stuff, but had a really good time. Enjoyed the bins there. They are huge and crazy. <laughs> so, if you're new to this channel... Thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe. I do these kind of videos uh, as, long, as well as other random videos. Jewelry jar openings and uh, sometimes thrift with me's or shop with me's. So, anyway. Also, if you are new to this channel. Uh, last week, I went to Oklahoma on a thrifting adventure. And uh, I went to another outlet. We have an outlet here, a Goodwill outlet, but it is very small. Um, <clears throat> but it's really good. I, I always find stuff there. Um, so I went to the Oklahoma City Goodwill outlet. And it was bananas, you guys. It was crazy. Um, the clothing, I didn't even look through. Because it was blue bins about this big. Filled three feet above the top of the bin with clothing. How do you even sort through that? Like, there's nowhere to put it. Like, I, I don't know. So, but I did find some really great stuff. In fact, I need to not for, to forget to show you the really amazing find. Um, but, anywho, I uh, like our little outlet. But I'm so glad I got to experience that. And uh, let's get started. But before we do, if you're interested in any of the items I'm selling... I will always sell them to you guys before I list them on eBay or Poshmark for a better price. Okay, so if you're interested, let me know. Uh, you can inquire on my Facebook group. It is a closed group. You will have to ask to join. I'll approve you. You may ask about an item. Please give me your state for shipping so that I can tell you how much it's going to be to ship that item out. Alrighty. If you're not a Facebooker, you can email me. I will also leave both of those links in the description box below. Alrighty. Got a, found a lot of stuff for myself and my family. Um, so we'll go through that first, as per usual, and then the other. All right. So my daughter, of course, went with me. So she found this. This is one of those things where you put this around your leg and then you jump over this. She had another one and it fell apart that she actually found at the thrift. And I think this is supposed to light up. Maybe not. I thought the other one lit up, but it doesn't look like there's anything in that one. So anyway, that's that. I have no idea. I think she got that at the bins. So, I'll try to tell you which things I got at the bins and which I got somewhere else. Okay, these uh, were at a regular Goodwill in Oklahoma. Um, they are uh, just Corel plates. We we purchased white Corel plates, like a whole set, but I always pick this stuff up and uh, um, when I see them because we've broken some. So, I will always pick up Corel plates and bowls. They had a really pretty set of plates. Well, it was a whole a full set, but they were selling it as a whole set, and I didn't need the whole set. But anyway, I got those dollar each. Okay, got these guys. So before we went to the outlet, we went to Value Village, and it was ha it was half off day. And um, these were had already been marked down to two dollars, so then they were half off of that, which was a dollar. They're just little uh, suede toms. They're perforated little perforations. I just thought they were cute for like church or something or just I, all I have are round toed flats which are really um, the, the pointier toe is, is more what's in style right now so I thought I got a good deal on those <coughs> excuse me these were marked 40 and then I think they got damaged and they marked them down to eight ninety nine, which I thought was a great deal so these are Cole Haan. like again church shoes they were 40 then they marked them down to 899 because the tips are damaged that's nothing a little super glue or uh, shoe goo will not fix so for 899 i mean these look new so i think they got i think somebody manhandled them because they've only been worn like one time once they got to the goodwill okay these are so cute. I love these. These are Onitsuka's, uh, Onitsuka Tigers A6. I thought they were super duper, schmooper pooper, scooper cute. Um, they were like whatever price their regular shoes were. $4, $6, something like that. So, super cute, barely used. 
love. I've been really into leopard print this this year. I don't know. Uh, speaking of leopard print, <laughs> I actually got this little grouping of stuff at the bins here locally yesterday. So I got this. This is just a Walmart Time and True sweatshirt. Uh, it's a size larger than I normally get, but I got it anyway. This, depending on how it fits when I try it on, I might sell. This is an Ann Taylor Loft shirt. It is an extra large, so I don't know how it's going to fit. Um, but I want to wash it before I try it on. So, that also got yesterday. This, also, I'm on the fence about. It's super cute. I just don't know if I ever have occasion to wear it. It is uh, Gypsy Junkies. And it's a little know if I can get it where you guys so that would be like one side of it and then it just is so it's just like a wrap kimono type thing shorter with the little uh tassels on the end but I thought it was really cute it looks really cute on I just don't know if it's something that's gonna sit in my closet I'm never gonna have just the right thing to wear it with so gotta think on that one uh this again I'll have to try on and see if it fits but it was the bins so uh, this is a gap size medium. It's just a little light chambray button up, button down, however you want to say it. You never have too many of those kind of things to wear with jeans. If you want to look just a little bit nicer, <laughs> but not too nice. Uh, as you guys probably know, I live in Louisiana. This is just, I think they sell these at Sam's. It says Louisiana and then Louisiana on the back. Pretty much just a weekend with blue jeans and muck boots outside t-shirt. These I got for my daughter. They're double zeros. I got her a pair of double zeros last week, if you want, or the last video, and they do fit her. They're a little big, but um, they fit great in the length. So, went ahead and got these. These are universal threads just from uh, uh, Target. Some little gray jeans. If they're too big this year, they'll fit next year for sure. Also got her this for this year but mostly for next year so I, I think knock on wood it's gonna get cold again tomorrow but i think for the most part our winter is done um so but super cute she can wear extra smalls and also so uh this again still from yesterday also this this is the escape room in a box the werewolf project i've not opened it up it was taped um, hopefully it's got all the parts, but I thought that would be fun. It says 13 and up. She'll be 12 next month, but I'll bet you that we can do this together as family. And then the last thing I got from the bins yesterday was this Room Essentials hanging rack. We've got a huge, huge bunch of stuff in our camper slash storage unit back here on our property that we are gonna do a garage sale probably in April or May when it warms up a little bit and uh, it's always nicer if you can hang up all the clothes you'll sell them better more people will look at them and you can sell them for more if they are steamed and hung my mom taught me that a long time ago thanks mom uh, she used to pay for our family vacations with garage sales because I'm one of four girls and there were lots of clothes but she would steam everything and hang it on racks, and it was like a little boutique, and we, she would make a killing. So, just a tip. Okay, so hopefully that's got all the parts. I only paid $2.99 for it, but it was all taped up, so fingers crossed. All right, got these at a consignment store in Oklahoma. They are just born, like, driving loafers. They're just classic, you know. These with a chambray shirt and a little belt, a little, little French tuck and a belt classic and timeless so just those nothing fancy i think i paid like 11 bucks for those okay then oh and i also got this i don't know what i'm gonna do with this you guys but it brought back memories this is a mercer mayor little critter so my dad used to read me these little critter books when i was a kid and he would get the biggest kick out of the illustrations he would laugh harder than I would at their little faces and stuff. And so, it just brings back memories. So, 
I don't know. I'm going to keep him, put him on my bed or something. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But he was only, I think he was like two bucks or something. Okay, my daughter got this. It's kind of pilly. I need to get one of those pilly shaver things. Um, but she saw it at a Goodwill and wouldn't leave until I got it for her. So, she is a Stranger Things fanatic. She loves that show. Those kids, when the, on the first season, they're all her age, but it's in the 80s, and it says friends don't let friend, friends don't lie. 11. So, it's pilly, but she wanted it, and so we got it. At the consignment store, she picked out a few things. She got this. She's really into tie-dye and really into hoodies. So she got this little Disney World tie-dye hoodie. Um, and if she doesn't ruin it, I might even be able to resell it because it's a Disney Parks, isn't it? Yeah, Disney, Walt Disney World. So it's a Disney Parks top. So that's cool. I don't know. They, took, they take the tags off at the consignment store, so I don't remember what I paid. And this is just a little Old Navy palm tree top. I'm just glad I don't have to, like, fight with her to get clothes anymore. And she still is willing to get stuff at thrift stores and consignment stores. So, I used to have to fight with her to even buy clothes. She didn't even want to look at clothes. So, uh, got this. It is a, uh, stitch, a stitch hand. And it's from Walt Disney. But apparently, I did some research. It's part of a, isn't her neck cute? That's so cute. Uh, it's part of a costume, a stitch costume. Although, the stitch costume didn't have this on it. So, I don't know. But anyway, she really wanted this, which is a little stitch that she can put on her backpack for her homeschool co-op. And again, it was at the bins. This was at the bins. So, this was at the bins, and she got this little guy from the bins, and I got this from the bins. It's a Tyler Candle Company, which uh, these are made, lo well, I say locally. Tyler, Texas is like two hours from me. So, uh, they sell these everywhere around here, and they're very expensive. In fact, it even says bougie parfumé. So, this is Pineapple Crush. It smells really good. And again, I got it at the bins. All right, now, let's move on. Before I forget, I'm going to show you my major, 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 major find. Hold on. Okay. I think there's already going to be something in the title of this video that's going to give you guys a heads up as to what I'm going to show you, but I was at the bins, I was pretty much done, and I was looking through all of the, um, it's story time in case you didn't know, also the sun's doing weird stuff, uh, it's like raining here, anyway, sorry, it's all coming on one side, okay, I was at the bins, I was almost done, so I started looking through the housewares, and I saw this, this picture. And as soon as I saw it, I knew it was mid-century modern art. I was not familiar with the artist, and I could only see part of his name, and I'll show you. So I saw this, and I was like, that's super cool. Definitely mid-century, but his name is cut off, okay? So I picked it up, and I went to the next bin, and I started to see this one. And it's Bernard Buffet, okay? And also, ugh, these ratty cats. Uh, this one. All signed, okay? Um, and this one. All nicely matted and framed. And this one. So, I don't know. Ooh, it's getting so dark. Um, hold on. Let me see if I can open a window. Oh, please. I'm not even going to pause the video, you guys. Okay. All right. Sorry. Okay. Is that any better? Not really, but that's all I could do. Okay. I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but they're on very thick paper that's almost lined. I don't think it's going to come off on camera. It's not. But the paper is very thick, and you can see that it is, like, lined, okay? So I'm pretty sure these are lithographs. We took one out. We looked at it. It was not numbered or anything, but I found this set of lithographs, and they're not. None of them are numbered. They're all exactly like this. The, uh... 
the framing, like the way that, that it's cut, is exactly the same. There are some prints of these, but most of them are in black and white. Long story short, these could be worth several thousand dollars, okay? His stuff, his lithographs go from anywhere between 200 to 1800 per lithograph. This is a set of five. He did an album co cover for, uh, I think it was Ella Fitzgerald in the 50s. And these were the five pieces of artwork that were featured on that album cover. But he then did, and I guess they were from some of his original artwork, and just five of them were chosen to go on the cover. So, I might be able to sell this set. One was sold on uh, Worth Point or whatever, but I couldn't see what it sold for because you have to, like, get a membership or whatever. But I also need to confirm that these are lithographs, so I'm going to take them to my dad when I'm there over uh, the next time I go and have him look at them and see if he thinks they're lithographs lithographs he's he's a an artist as well as an art collector so um and then i may take them to an art gallery or, or someone who's a, an art professional and get them looked at but anyway these could be huge i'm kind of sad they're set because i've got this one hanging right now and i really like it and so i'm gonna be sad if i have to sell them as a set because um i really want to keep this one but, I mean, if it's a difference of $500, pretty sure I can find another piece of artwork that will uh, take the place of that. So, okay, just wanted to make sure I did not forget to show you guys that because I was super duper excited. This right here, if these are lithographs, which I'm like 90% sure they are, more than paid for my trip. Like, paid for double what I spent on the entire trip, okay? So, yay. Yay. Moving right along. Okay, right here on top, I've got the stuff that I got from the outlet yesterday that I'm selling. Okay, so those I got at the outlet in Oklahoma City. This little bit of stuff is stuff I found at the outlet here in town, just because it's on top. Okay, so yesterday I got these. They are Air Jordans. There are not many online, but the comps, I think I can get about 30 bucks for them probably. I'm seeing they have like some glue here. That's not awesome. I wonder if somebody glued them back together. I did not see that. Sometimes they come from the factory like that. I'll just take a lot of pictures. Oh, yes. I'll be damned. This is why you got to check, guys. Check. They had been put back, and now I know why. They're falling apart. Okay. Well, never mind. Those probably cost like $250. Okay. But this is awesome. This is a Johnny Was. Hey, if you're not familiar with that, it's the, this is probably about a $200 blouse. Okay. It's in great shape. Pretty. I say it's in great shape. I need to take a closer look at it because clearly I wasn't paying attention yesterday. It's got the little strings. So hopefully, I might send this into the real real. I don't know. I've got some other stuff. If you did not watch my jewelry jar opening a few days ago go back and watch that i found two designer items that i'm gonna sell at the real real as well as this bracelet which i love and it had matching earrings but they're really big so um and a few other things so go back and watch that if you haven't watched that okay so the johnny was found that yesterday found this a6 tiger again it's an onitsuka t-shirt but it's got this cool thing i did a little bit of research but i haven't found one exactly like that and it says a6 tiger so, we'll see what that's worth. But I think it is worth something. Okay. Why can I never remember the name of this leather, you guys? And every time I do this, somebody leaves it in the comments. And I'm like, yes, that's it. It's like I have a mental block. Okay? I got this. It's just a uh, uh -huh. strap. It's a purse strap. But a lot of times I'll get stuff that doesn't come with the long strap. So, I just picked it up. Because, again, it was the, um, the bins. And it's that textured leather. What the heck? Why can I not remember the name? Y'all know Michael Kors does a lot of purses in this kind. But, anyway, someone else tell me again so I can forget next time. Okay. And then, I guess this was it. I feel like I got more because it was 10 pounds of clothes yesterday. I don't know. Anyway, okay. This is a, it's open. This is a just fab, and it's a 
classic wrap dress. These resell for about $20 to $30. So again, from Ben's, it's a size medium. The Johnny Was was an extra small, in case you wanted to know. Okay, I guess that's all I got at the Ben's yesterday. How was that $10? With that other, I mean, 10 pounds. Oh, the stupid shoes, I guess, were like two pounds. Anyway, and that, that like, uh, escape room at home was probably a couple of pounds. Okay, these I got at the bins in Oklahoma City when I found them, the paintings, okay? I did not look through the clothing very much at all. I just skimmed the surface, and I just found two things. So, I found these. They're new with tag. They're skinny. Mid-rise skinny, super slim from hip to ankle, size 28, Lane Bryant. Tag still on them. It looks like they were 89 and then marked down to $62.99. So, I mean, for what I paid at the bins, and it looks like they were 10 bucks at the Goodwill and they didn't sell. And here they have a really cute bottom. So they're super duper cute. They'd be great for, for uh, actually year round. I mean, you can wear these all year round. So. The larger sizes usually sell pretty well. Lane Bryant with tag I thought was good at the bins. This is also a really great find, although I don't know how long it'll take to sell. This I also found at the bins in Oklahoma City. Just on top, um, I just kind of looked for what caught my eye and grabbed it out. And that's why I only found two things. Okay. Also, there were like, there would be like, they would bring out one bin at a time of clothes and there would be like, 30 people just waiting to descend on this thing of clothes. And I was like, I'm not trying to do that. They did the same thing with the small bins, but I was willing to go and, like, go through those. Because it was, like, a whole, like, line of them. Anyway. Okay. So, this is very hairy for my cats, but it is imported. It is a silver cloud woven cashmere blend woven in Italy made in Bulgaria. It is a men's coat okay i saw these online um selling for between 30 and 90 there's several of them i just don't know how long it will take to sell it's just a black wool coat oh here's another thing i found yesterday here's two more things i found yesterday at the bins okay i knew i had more stuff than than that um they had fallen behind so here is again got these yesterday at the bins here this is a pair of vince camuto Pleated satin slacks, newest tag, super cute. They are size zero. So those are beautiful. Can't pass up newest tag at the bins, you guys, especially Vince Camuto. Okay. And then at the bins yesterday, I got this. It is a Michael Kors. Um eternity scarf it is shimmery and then it's got the cutouts of the mk logo so it's very very cute super cute although when you do it like that yeah you can still see them you can still see the logos super cute okay so that 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 makes sense okay Got these in Oklahoma. Oh, wait, no. The last thing I got at the bins in Oklahoma City was this super cute fossil tote. It needs to be thrown in the washing machine. It's got a couple spots on it. I will do that. If anyone's interested, let me know. It's in excellent condition. Um, I'll show you. I don't even think it was like anything major. I think it just looks a little dingy. Yeah, uh, there's a little area that I'm going to oxy right here and throw it in the wash. It's only got a few little pieces of leather, so it should be fine. And it's got a big front pocket, and if no one buys it, I'll use it, because I can always use these totes. Um, or I'll put it online. I don't know, who knows. Um, inside's great, it's in great shape, except for that little brown spot that I'm pretty sure I can get out. Okay, moving on along. These I got at an estate sale uh, in Oklahoma. They are Merrells. I thought they might fit me. They're a size nine, but they do not. They're too short. Sometimes I can wear nines and sometimes I can't. And these were ones that I can't. So super cute though. In great condition. Size nine. 
Also at that estate sale, my daughter found this, which is a Build-A-Bear. She wants to try to resell it. A Build-A-Bear, still in the package, and it is a Get Well Soon little kitty cat. I mean, she doesn't have to be a Get Well Soon kitty cat, but this is a Build-A-Bear workshop, stitched with love, and she has on the little Get Well Soon. So... That was, they wanted to own it. It's also got, she's got a little, oh, this is so cute. She's got a little nurse's hat that goes over her ears. God, how cute is that? I don't know. I don't have it on all the way, but it's a little. So, it was half a 20. It was 10. She had, did I give her $25 to spend while we were there? So, and she spent every penny of it. <laughs> So she got that, and then I also got this Kodak Advantix Max Film. It was a dollar, but it was half off. So it was 50 cents, and it looks like I can sell this for about $10 on eBay. I mean, not a huge thing, but, you know, this will go first class. Cost almost nothing to ship, and uh, I can make, you know, a $10 bill probably off of it. So, pretty good. Oh, this also I found at the bins in Oklahoma City, and then I realized I have this exact curling iron. It, it, it's gold and black, but it's the same barrel size. So, uh, got this at the bins, and it's a Hot Tools. I think it's a one and a half inch. And it looks like they sell, they're retail for 35 and I think I can probably sell this on eBay for about $10, which is good. Because, uh, I don't need it. Okay, other random stuff I got. Oh, got this at the, dang it, why didn't I put all this stuff together? I also got this at the bins in Oklahoma City. This is Polaroid Type 108 film, expired in 1982, I think. These sell pretty well. Um, unfortunately, I did not realize there were two in here that one had already been opened. So there's, there's only one in there, and then this one is black and white, Type 107, I believe, and uh, it's fully sealed. So these sell because I guess you can't buy that film anymore. Alrighty, these are awesome. I just have to confirm that they are an, an Apple iPhone 12. I'm 95% sure that they are. If anyone's interested in these and they, I ship it to you and it doesn't fit your phone, I will pay for shipping to send it back to me. But I'm pretty sure that this is an iPhone 12. We've rolled out the 11. Um, these are loopy cases. I have four of them. I have another one in my car that is leopard but it's the brown and uh it's the colored leopard this is black leopard with the loopy these things are 39 dollars retail i paid two dollars a piece it even comes with the little bag i think the bags have gotten mixed up but um the one that's in my car is like this leopard but colored and it's got a pink loop on it if i don't sell these the i actually have a loopy case for my phone and these loops you can switch out and they're five bucks a piece. So even at $2 for the loops was a good deal. Um, this one's super cute and I think it belongs in this bag which I'll switch them out. My husband looked at them and put them back. So this one's super cute. And if someone wants to purchase all of them, I'll give you a deal on them because um, the other one doesn't have a case. There's only, I mean, a bag. One of them didn't come with a bag. Three of them did. So that's two. Again, I told you what the other one looks like, and then the third one's really pretty, too. Hold on. It's in this bag, and it is like the marble rose gold. These don't even look like they've been used, so I don't even know. I don't even know. Why would you not try to resell these? Why would you donate these? But anyway, that was a good find. $2 a piece. 90% sure they are iPhone 12. Hartley, my daughter, got this. And she also got another one that has a typo and is worth like a couple hundred dollars, I think. So, but this is Roxy. She's also worth about $5, 5 to $7. She's a, a TY beanie baby. I don't know where the one that is actually worth something is. It must be in my car. Um, got this again. I think I got this at the bins too. Because it's not marked with a price. It is 62 ink cartridge. Um, it's worth like 10 bucks. But I didn't look it up. because it Yeah, it was at the bins. I just grabbed it. I didn't look it up because it was like pennies. 
Okay, can't remember where my daughter got this one, but it's another TY. Uh, it's not a Beanie Baby. What is it? It's a... Oh, Beanie Original Buddy. Because it does have beans in it. So she's going to sell that. Okay, this is kind of random, but I looked up comps, and I can sell this for about $20 online, and it was half of $5.98, which made it $3. This is Zorb, Dyson Zorb, and it's like some kind of granules to absorb dirt and then easily remove. And I'm pretty sure you could use it with any... I don't know. I might keep this for myself. I kind of need it on this carpet. Uh, I have a big rug right here and the cat's... Like the cat and the dog hair and that gets in there, so... I don't know. Maybe not. Because I can just lift up and sweep underneath. But anyway. $3. Turn it into 20 Not a bad deal. I got this for myself... And then I realized that in order to re, like, get it, like, activated again, you've got to boil it. And I just don't know if I'm down for that. These do sell online, and they sell for about this price. This is a click heat. It's got those little flexible metal discs, and then uh, you soften them, and it heats up. It's a heat pack. So, um... But then, in order to make it work again, you have to boil it. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep that or not. I'm not sure. Okay. Next leaf. It are these Joseph Seibels. These are pretty expensive. The, the, re the resale on them was not as much as I thought it was going to be. But they were $6 and they were marked down to $3. And then they were half off at that Value Village. So, they were only $1.50. They're in really good shape. I think I can make about 20 to 30 on them. So, they're a small size, though. What size are they? They are a 40? I think that's like a size. Well, maybe they're not a small size. Yeah, they're a 40. You, European. So, never mind. They just look small, I guess. Okay. I found another thing that we're keeping for ourselves. But this is the last thing to show you. These are a size 8.5. They are keen. Hiking, women's hiking boots, and they're really nice, and they're in great condition. My daughter actually wears an eight and a half. We're trying to get her to keep these because we're going on a hiking trip. We hike quite often, but we're going on like a major hiking trip to Arkansas in March, and so we might still see if she will keep these because they're her size. They're eight and a half. I don't remember what I paid for these. Like, oh, $10. All right, last thing was something that we're keeping. Um, it is a microscope. We had a microscope, but it was not great. And we're about to do a unit on mold. So we're going to do, what is it called? A mold terrarium or something like that. And it's where you put a bunch of things into a container that has a clear lid and you just see how quickly they mold and what kind of mold, mold they make and how long it takes and yada, 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 yada. And I, she, she, my daughter wanted to look through the microscope at the mold, which I thought would be super cool and see the mold spores and uh so i found this and it was retail of 69 i think it's on here still 59 and then i got it for 10.49 so i was stoked about that and it's got all the stuff still in it looks like it's never been used except my cats obviously got a hold of the corner all right you guys that was my extremely long video and uh i hope you enjoyed it again let me know if you're interested in any of this stuff, and if not, no problem. Uh, I know I'm not having a lot of purses and designer stuff lately, but that's just what's happening. I'm just not finding a lot of that stuff right now. Hopefully when garage sale season rolls back around, I will, but this is what I'm finding, and it's I'm selling two to three things a day on eBay, so I'm selling this. I'm getting the stuff I know will sell, so I hope y'all still find it interesting. Um, and I mean, anytime that I find any kind of bags or designer stuff, I uh, definitely will purchase it if it's a good deal. So, all right. I love you guys. Uh, stay healthy and happy. And until next time, y'all keep it thrifty.